what's the holdup? Is it the same issue? I mean, we talked about documentation. You guys said that wasn't an acceptable reason given the circumstances to hold the flights and then just we nothing. We have been very clear that the individuals uh, who have expressed a desire and a willingness to leave via Mazar Sharif should be allowed uh, to leave the country. Uh, uh, the fact that, uh, to my knowledge, a charter flight has not departed Mazar has uh, nothing to do um, with anything that the State Department has or has not done, and in fact, quite the contrary. Uh, the State Department, as we have said, has pulled every lever available to us. Uh, we have mm -hmm. gone to extraordinary lengths uh, with uh, uh, not only our engagement with the Taliban, uh, but also um, with these uh, other constellation of, of uh, groups uh, uh, on the ground and operating from afar, and also with countries in the region. And uh, to our minds, uh, these flights, uh, these individuals, uh, there is no reason uh, they should not be able uh, to depart. And that's what we're continue to uh, continue to focus on. Can I, can I circle back to something my colleague said when she was asking about women's rights and, and Taliban alleged abuses? You said the U.S. will hold them accountable. How are you going to do that if you can't even? If you said you've used every level your ha level, lever you've had, and you can't address this issue? I said I've, I said I've said we've used every lever we've had in the narrow and specific issue of charter flights leaving from the Mazar-e-Sharif airport uh, in northern Afghanistan. 